Welcome to the Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail Benchmark. We got a new PC, so we're gonna be seeing what this thing can do. We have DLSS enabled, and I turn off depth of field, because that crap's ugly, in my opinion. We are running an NVIDIA 4080 Super with an i9-14900KF. You can see in the bottom left corner of the screen right there. Let's get technical. Okay, people, nerd glasses on. Let's get into this. FSR versus DLSS. Which is better for Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail based on the benchmark? And I ran eight tests. Four where the frame rate threshold is set to activate when frame rate drops below 60 FPS. And four where it's always on. So let's cover the ones where it's set to, drop, set to activate when frame rate drops below 60 FPS. Because it's kind of funny because on this machine, it just doesn't do that. So I don't think FSR or DLSS actually activated. I could be missing reading that label, but that's what it sounds like to me. The first test was with AMD FSR. The average frame rate for this AM AMD FSR test was 172.4955 with a minimum frame rate of 96 for a total loading time of 8.18 seconds and a total score of 24,857. The total score being essentially an arbitrary number that the game comes up with to rate your setup and to rate your performance. Higher the number, the better. Bear in mind, I was technically using OBS to record this one because it was for the video. Maybe that had an impact, maybe it didn't. Probably had some impact, but even then on a 4080 Super with an i9-14900KF and 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM, the machine didn't struggle at all. However, when it comes to the second test, which was for NVIDIA's DLSS, where the frame rate threshold is set to activate when, when frame rate drops below 60 FPS, lol, the average frame rate was 187.0268 for a minimum frame rate of 98, this test being done without recording, for a total loading time of 7.099 seconds and a total score of 26,706. The next test was for AMD's FSR, which did shockingly good, but again, the frame rate threshold was set to activate when frame rate drops below 60 FPS. And when the average frame rate is 193.2582 with a minimum frame rate of 96, that just doesn't happen. Total loading time was 7.189 seconds, and the total score was 27,710. So there is some variance here w one way or the other, but overall it's still pretty good. I mean, by pretty good, I mean amazing. However, the fourth test was kind of interesting because it was NVIDIA's DLSS with a frame rate threshold set to activate when frame rate drops below 60 FPS. But again, it doesn't do that. Average frame rate is 187.3542, with a minimum frame rate of 92, total loading time of 7.216 seconds, and a total score of 26,647. The thing I found interesting is that when compared to the last DLSS test, the average and minimum frame rates are almost identical, both of them being 187 for the average frame rate, with a barely a fraction but differing them, but the minimum frame frame rate did vary. The first one was 98, the second one was 92. Whereas the two FSR tests could probably just be chalked up to, well, I was recording the first one. So let's actually see the difference in FSR and DLSS now, shall we? Let's take those four tests as a control pretty much. Now, this test was for NVIDIA's DLSS and a frame rate threshold of always on. So if I'm reading that right, DLSS should be applied all the time here for this test. And boy did it show. Average frame rate was 235.513 with a minimum frame rate of 99. We almost broke 100 there. A total loading time of 7.212 seconds for a total score of 32,527. Our first score that broke 30K, let alone 32K. The FSR test was rather impressive, but it did not hang up to par with the DLSS test. The AMD FSR Fidelity FX Super resolution test with a frame rate threshold set to always on had an average frame rate of 194.0564 with a minimum frame rate of 96 a total loading time of 7.094 seconds and a total score of 27,855 I decided to run another AMD FSR test just to check for consistency. The average frame rate was 194.454 with a minimum frame rate of 97, total loading time of 7.1 seconds, and a total score of 27,933. Borderline identical to the previous FSR test. And this consistency rings true when we go back to DLSS. 
for another final test. With NVIDIA DLSS enabled, with a frame rate threshold of always on, NVIDIA's DLSS had an average frame rate of 237.185 with a minimum frame rate of 97, for a total loading time of 7.183 seconds and a total score of 32,730, being extremely similar to the DLSS test from last time with a couple of frame rate difference. Where the first one was 235.513 for the average, while this one was 237.185 for the average, whereas the old one had a minim minimum of 99 and the new one had a minimum of 97. So from my testing, when, you know, the graphics upscaling is actually applied, and you said they're always on, it does seem like DLSS gives better performance overall. But it definitely seems as if the takeaway is that DLSS overperforms FSR in this scenario. On my machine, I don't exactly need either, but it's nice to know. But just overall for the state of Dawn Trail, good god it looks gorgeous in my opinion. The new anti-aliasing really helps. I had, oh god, what's the acronym for it? T-S-C-M-A-A enabled? And it really made the foliage and overall grass and all that clutter look far better than it used to in Final Fantasy XIV. That weird flickering effect, I didn't, I didn't encounter it at all in my testing, at least from what I saw. Which was always one of the biggest gripes I had with Final Fantasy XIV visually and now that that's hopefully been solved, hey, thumbs up for me. The game overall looks extremely gorgeous, and the, I love the locations that they showed off here. John Trail's looking super good, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into it as more data comes out, more information, and eventually the game. Throw wide the gates so that I may pass! I'm gonna need to check out Viper. Viper's looking pretty good in my opinion. I'm liking how it looks. Also, Reaper and Dark Knight though. Mwah. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Have a great day. Leave a comment down below with your benchmark data, how it runs on your machine, and your overall thoughts on the new graphical improvements when it comes to Dawn Trail. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hear your opinions. Stay safe out there, buddy. Have a great day. Go play some video games if you can. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Until we meet again.